Hello everyone, glad to have you with me. CK Too Much here, back at it again with Prince Doran, the Shadow of Doran. So, in the last episode, guys, uh, we managed to tear Old Town away from control of the Reach, and we have put it in charge of our brother, or my, I'm sorry, my son-in-law, Lord Humphrey Hightower, with his collection of Martell children. I had to give him Gaston Gray to sweeten the pot and make sure that he stayed under me rather than under the Reach, but we got it done. Uh, our allies from the Riverlands and the Westerlands were crucial in this. Now, we're going to be turning our attention towards the Stormlands, who, which my, um, my nephew, Prince Oberyn's son, uh, he has a wife with a strong claim. And he, they have a ton of um, Martell children. I'm hoping that if we take it and they inherit, that this that nothing will, you know, that they won't take the Baratheon name. But that might definitely happen. I think I might try to prevent it by doing the same thing that I have just done with them. But, ah, uh, okay. Those are all the girls. Um, hmm. I could do it to Ashara, but who is Ashara? Who's Jolene? Ah, okay. Jolene's, yeah. That's right. Um, what about you? You're marrying... Oh, you married a Fossaway. That's right. Oh, you betrothed the Fossaway. Huh, okay. Well... Unfortunately, I don't have someone to make sure that will won't happen, but but who knows? Um, hmm. Hopefully that won't happen, but I guess it's a possibility. I'm not really sure what else I could do to prevent that. Um, I mean, I could marry him to this bastard girl, but I don't really know... Who is she anyway? Let me. What's her name? Ashara. She is Ronan's kid, and Ronan is my cousin's kid. Okay. <laughs> That's a possibility. Um, I guess she's a Martell, but also a Sand? So I don't know what that would mean exactly. Hopefully a better alternative will come along, but we'll wait and see. But okay, uh, let's go ahead and call in my allies for Anara. Yes, and this time, I mean, I have about the same amount of men as he does, but I will also have two very powerful allies. Uh, Brian the Unworthy, who is that? Brian the Unworthy, Brian the Unworthy. I don't know who that is. Let's see. Brian. Brian, is it this guy? Aha, uh -huh. okay, so he's not gonna join us. That's a shame. He was instrumental, or not instrumental, but he was very helpful when we were taking out the Lannisters, but, but, but yeah, okay. So, um, let's meet in Ironwood. Uh, too old, has had a kid. Okay, good. Edmure's gonna join us. Hopefully my grandson will join us, too. Okay, hmm. I guess that means we can get rid of this betrothal, then. Hmm. Or, uh, no, I can't. Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> because that's not my kid. Okay. Uh, yes, okay, good. My eyes and ears have discovered a repulsive truth about Tywood Lannister. Inform his liege. Okay, so maybe he will get imprisoned. Okay. Oh, wow, looks like he became, uh, oh, no, 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 that's not him. Okay, so he is publicly, he has been publicly denounced and humiliated. That's good. Okay, so my crimes against the Lannisters, or my vengeance against the Lannisters has continued. 
Um, let's do some tax concessions. Yeah, we've been at war a lot, so I should probably make it up to my vassals. Okay, basic defenses are still being built. My commanders are improving a bit. Uh, whoa, hold up. Okay, I lost a regent. Oh, because my wife, right. Can I give it to my daughter? Where is that? So my council, yeah. I want Ariane to have that position. Or maybe Mr. Humphrey. Uh, where is, where is my daughter? Oh, I guess she's not with me. Maybe that's why. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess it should be someone close to me. I think I'll, I won't give it to my daughter actually because she's insane. Um, who is the member of my dynasty with the highest opinion of me? Slim Pickens. Okay, well, you know what? I guess I'll give it to my brother-in-law. Or my son-in-law. I don't know why I keep calling him that. Since he has such a high opinion of me. But hopefully, you know, you should never give high towers too many positions of powers either. They're not exactly the most trustworthy. The dance has proved that. Uh, okay, some drama going on with Heron Hall. Okay, and how is Daenerys doing? She is depressed. Okay. I wonder how Quinton's doing. Does he have any lovers? No. I'm curious if Daenerys has any lovers again. No, so for now she does. She's a rival, though. Who is this? Fifira, Nina, and... Tarion. Okay, so this is during her time in Bravos, I guess. Oh, okay, so stables for him, sure. Okay, so it looks like I have a possibility for getting rid of Tywald. Let's do it. Or Tywald. Not sure how you pronounce that. Probably Tywald. Yes! Alright, so we have taken care of Mr. Tywald Lannister. Glad that we could tie that up, or clear that up. How old is Claire now? 12, okay. Still too young to be married. But soon, I think, soon. Plus, the Westerlands has been pretty useful for us, actually. Uh, okay, so we'll get these last few men up here, and then we'll march north. Ooh, or maybe we shouldn't, actually. Uh, no, I will not grant you permission. You know what? I will, find him, you, I will find you someone nice. I'm going to go ahead and just betroth you to my niece, Claire. And then you'll just have to wait, all right? That way he won't marry anyone that he shouldn't. Okay, so I should have kept Tybalt, and maybe I should have executed his wife and then forced him to marry someone. Hmm. Oh well, I think we'll still be okay. Man, okay, so I think, you know, if my daughter hadn't made Sherman Martell switch his dynasty name, we would be in such a strong position right now. We'd have tight we'd have Martells in the West. We're about to have Martells in the Stormlands. We have Old Town. But, of course, there have to be obstacles. You also gotta feel real bad for Raymond. Uh, what's this? Lord Hubert of Hawthorne has provided me with proof that has been viciously... That, okay, that blank has been viciously slandering me. Ooh, um, hmm, hmm, hmm. I'll keep this to myself. I'm sure he's not happy that he's about to be married matrilineally to a Martell to by someone, you know, who has a, a bad history with his family. Uh, okay. Could we arrange a betrothal between one of our boys? No. 
Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm running out of uh, Martels to marry off. It's a good thing that Treybar had so many kids. Oh, uh, you know, I think I am going to not do that. And we're just going to stay here. Hopefully they'll come to us. Okay, and we got the Riverlands coming in. Um, oh, so they divided their forces a bit. Let's see, I might be able to swing in there. Um, I might be able to get in there in time, actually. So I'm going to arrive on the 30th. And that 7,000 men will be gone on the 29th. Okay, so let's keep it for now. Let's see, though. Maybe they'll stay. Uh, okay, I don't... Oh, they're locked, too. Okay. So that 7,000 should be out of there when we attack. Okay, nice. So we caught that 3,000. So that means they're pretty much fucked. Oh, that did not sound good. Um, Vickery, interesting. Okay, so Castromir is not held by it's not held by the Lannisters anymore. So let's see. So Cersei had it, but then she gave it to Tanton Hamill. That's an interesting sigil, and then it was inherited by Cersei Hamill. And she was killed by Damien, who conquered it as claimant. How did he get a claim? Interesting. Oh, they were, they had Gold Hill, which is a barony in Goldshire. Okay. Interesting. Uh, well, anyway. I wonder why he divided his forces like that. Can we? Okay, so we can't catch them. Um. You know what? Let's. I'm gonna meet them. So they're going to Crow's Nest. So I'll go to Crow's Nest. Oh, we get quite a lot of war score from that. Oh, I guess we can just go straight to Estermont. Maybe that's where they're going. Oh, looks like we'll have a little battle here. 1,600 men. Nice way to get a little bit more war score. All right. You know, maybe I will speed up the process of Inara, of Inara's succession. I don't know how I feel about her. But I don't know if... I need to do that. Oh yeah, whatever happened to Ilaria? So Oberyn died at 29. That's depressing. Uh, she is remarried to oh, someone who is 10 years younger than her. Richard Mertens. Wait, I got a new sand. Who was that? Wendell Sand. That is Elara's kid. Ooh, so she has not stayed faithful to Denzel, has she? But how does she, how do they know it's a bastard? I don't I don't get that. I don't get that. Does she have a lover? Or oh, she does. Oh my god, fucking Simon. Can I imprison him since he No. Okay. Sure, let's adopt the Marshal's ideas. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. So the the Westerlands have captured Fellwood. <clears throat> um, okay, so this is... So it doesn't say that it's the Lannister's kid, but somehow they know. So I'll spy on them. Maybe I can get rid of him. Or, you know, oh, what the fuck? Okay, I did not see this coming. So King Aegon of Aegon's Host has declared King Aegon of Aegon's Host war for the Iron Throne 
on Daenerys. Okay, he has 9,000 men. And it's already over somehow. That's interesting. So a young silver-haired man has landed in Westeros claiming to be uh, Aegon, trueborn son of Rhaegar. Uh, it is widely believed that he perished in the Red Keep at the hands of Gregor Clegane during the War of the Usurper. Uh, it is purported it was not Aegon who perished there, but some peasant boy who was put in Aegon's place. Now, this claimant holds land, and he is the Golden Company at his back. Well, that's very interesting. Uh, you know, Doran, particularly, I mean, this, this guy is pretending to be Ella's, Elias Kid. But, uh, politically speaking, you know, we already have the Martells up here. The, um, we kind of entrenched with Daenerys. I think that even if, even if Doran was sure that this was Elia, he wouldn't necessarily want, want it to go down this way. So I'm going to say he's a mummer's dragon. But it looks like he... Okay, so he did not instantly lose. That's interesting. Uh, well, let's go ahead and take Estermont. Or Turtlemont. Okay. And Mistwood will be next. Uh, okay. A little bit of drama going on. And where is he? Yeah, I don't think anyone's going to choose him over Daenerys. Daenerys is pretty well entrenched. Also, his thing just changed. Uh, oh, okay. So he had... I've discovered some repulsive truth. Okay, so expose, publicly denounce him, giving me a reason to arrest him. All right. And it worked. And I will call him for trial. Hopefully he doesn't do a trial by combat, but if he does, he doesn't have that great of skills. So it looks like we'll get some more Lannister blood. Pexin, that's a stupid name. Pexin has arrived at my court? Doesn't look like she did. Uh, oh, so he has asked for a trial by combat. Okay, well, you can remain in the dungeons until then, my, my son. Okay. I might even send my guys up there and just get rid of Aegon. Let him rot. Uh, okay, hold up. It's freezing a little bit. Yep, yeah, so we'll go ahead and take Mistwood. Okay, okay. Uh, I'll swing down here real quick and take... Weeping Town. Oh, okay. Allard Sand needs some training. Oh, sorry, Allard. Yeah, we should have been training you up in Marshall for a while. You might be a bastard, but you can still be a great commander. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, what's this? Baylor of Altan has usurped the title of the three daughters from Aegon Costain. Oh, okay. Interesting. I can't stop thinking about all those prisoners in my dungeon. Oof. Oil up the rack. Oh, oh. So some people are trying to kill me. Oh, you know what? I should check in on my spy master. Okay. He still likes me. And, ooh, okay. I could put Trebor in there. Uh, but he is about to leave. So, you know what? No, I'll keep, I'll keep Gethin for now. Maybe I'll even give him a little bit of money. Yeah. Give him a little bit of money. Okay, a few more places we'll have this in the bag. Again, I'm kind of worried about my oh my god my descendants taking their name i would really not like that oh yeah yeah so uh he's in prison so obviously i don't need to spy on him anymore 
I'm trying to think who else I could spy on. I'm sure my stupid plot to expose him has failed. And I can't back out of it, so it's glitching pretty hard right now. Okay, let's go to Rathrock. That's a cool name, Rathrock. House Gower. You know, I want to do a game where I play as like a Westerosi house, like a minor one, and try to like rise up through the ranks. House Gower might be a fun way to do that, actually. Or the Estermonts, for that matter. Uh, okay. Um, okay, good. So Devlin Martell will be my heir. That's good. Don't take the don't take the old town name now. All right, you know maybe I could spy on him and get rid of him. Yeah, I don't actually have a very good opinion of him, so that's pretty funny actually. I'm kind of worried actually that if I die first, that he's gonna for some reason take this high tower name. So, you know what? I'm not gonna do that. Okay. All right, so we're about to wrap this up. Curious what's going to happen to Aegon. That'd be interesting if he ended up at the wall with, with uh, Viserys. Uh, okay, stables have been built in Sunspear, so now we can build... Um, hmm, maybe a patrol post. Give us a slightly bigger garrison and levy size. Okay. All right, almost done, almost done. We just need to take a couple more little places. Uh, all right, come on. All right, one more weekend, this is gonna be over. All right, look at that. Okay. Adios, amigo. Adios, Sebastian. So now we have Anara on the throne and Darren Martell as the heir. I guess I'm not going to do the matrilineal marriage between them. I would really like to. I'm really worried about this, but what can we do? Hmm. Well, you know what? Maybe we could do. Who is next in line? Uh, oh, for for this. Claire. Oh, okay, that's interesting. So Claire, who is set to marry Tyrion, is the heir, and ooh, she'll be able to marry real soon, actually. And once that happens, hopefully she'll get pregnant, and we can take out this motherfucker. Uh oh, interesting. Defending against... Okay, so he has joined in with, with Daenerys. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and send my men back. Um, you know, I... Okay, unless for some reason she lets him take the capital, I really don't think that much is going to happen. Uh, eh, I'm not going to get involved. So we'll send them to Will, and then... I'll just bring down my men. Uh, I'm kind of curious how this has happened. Um, so Queen Daenerys has inherited this. Okay, interesting. Why is she in the field? That's not a good idea. She's leading troops. She doesn't have any dragons. Uh, okay. Man, this chick is really really trying to win me over really curious about why uh oh interesting i didn't know that ronan was rivals with with quentin man he has cancer at 28 man leave it to ck2 to give young people cancer has he had any no true born heirs huh um you spent some time investigating one of your leisure's vassals in king's landing uh, oh, okay. I don't want to inform on Denera, but I guess, or Anara, whatever her name is, but I guess I have. All right, so, 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring my men down. So pretty successful mission. Um, so we have a chance that hopefully Darren will pick up, will keep his fucking name and won't go the way of Sherman the loser lame boy and take the Baratheon name after getting Casterly Rock. Um, so hopefully that's going to happen. And hopefully after that we can put Claire or, you know, Tyrion Lannister on the throne with Claire. And hopefully a Martell can inherit the Westerlands over on that side. Then we will have Dorne, the Stormlands, the Westerlands, and possibly the Iron Throne itself. And then I think Dorne can die in peace. You know, he's 67. He doesn't have much time left. I think his, his final act will probably be fixing what happened in the Westerlands and bringing Decella uh, back into the fold. So, uh, all right, guys, that's it for me. I'll see you next time.